Ever wonder why sometimes when healthcare professionals first meet the family, it can be easy to blame the family dynamic, when in fact, they may just be at the end of their rope? This excerpt was from a recent keynote presentation for hospital professionals. Thanks for listening. When you don't meet them until they're in pain, until they're in so much pain that they're reaching out and grasping at straws because they're hanging by a thread. So you may see a family shut down by trauma, and you may think they're cold and indifferent. <coughs> you may see a family who's angry because somebody they love has an illness that they feel powerless to stop, and you may think they're demanding. I'm sure, sitting around that table, that many people weren't happy with me. I felt like the Wicked Witch of the West, but I was fighting for my son's life. And if any of you are parents, and all of you are caring practitioners or you wouldn't be here today, I'm sure it's not the one credit that brought you in the door, maybe it is, but <laughs> if you care, then you get angry when something goes wrong. So you may see a demanding family, and maybe they're just angry. Maybe they're dazed by trauma. They have tried everything under the sun to fix it themselves, and you think they're aloof. Or you see aloof. Maybe they're worried, and you see they're too enmeshed. You know, my son's 30, and he still calls me mommy. That's a little immature, perhaps. But you know what? He feels my love. I tell him every day I love him, and I think that's part of his recovery. Are we enmeshed in our child's life? Well, we kind of have to be when they've been in the hospital eight times. I'm Randy Kay, author of Ben Behind His Voices, one family's journey from the chaos of schizophrenia to hope. We hope that our journey will pave the way for an easier journey for you.